Hey, Brian back here with another bone update. All right. Uh, happy August 1st. Hard to believe. Holy cow. This year is just flying by. Um, you know, if things go right as, you know, as I, I, in my opinion, next year is the bull run. Okay. Um, next spring is the Bitcoin having, and usually, you know, last time, uh, Bitcoin took off uh, the last bull run I was in was in, uh, September or October of that year after the spring having, and, uh, that's when it got super exciting. Okay. I believe Bitcoin's going to go up to 48,000 bucks this time. Who knows? You know, everybody has their own opinion. Everybody has their own ideas, but I think it's coming in for a retracement of the 2021 bull run, a 702 retracement. And, uh, and then it's going to go back down from there, uh, until next, uh, April when we have our having and uh then next year next year is gonna be a lot of fun who knows maybe it'll hit the all-time highs now and i am completely wrong it wouldn't be the first time i was wrong so um i'm a man you know that's uh everybody's wrong everybody has their uh their own ideas but th that's what i'm thinking is going to happen here you know history is going to repeat itself okay we had the 2017 bull run we had the uh, 2019 retracement. We had the 2021 bull run. And this should be the 2023 retracement if history repeats itself. So we'll see. But anyway, bone is looking great. And I have a bone uh, price price prediction up to 2030 for you guys. Not my own. But uh, I think it's going to get you pretty pumped up here, right? First off, we'll go through the chart. And uh, then we'll go to the price prediction. Um, it's it's it's. A pretty awesome prediction so uh, I think it'll make you guys happy first off the crypto bubbles all right this that's for the hourly we want the daily all right there we go you can see some pretty decent green out there today Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin did some really weird did a really weird wick I'm gonna show you that real quick and then we'll look at this chart but uh, Bitcoin is obviously one of the most important things here okay that's what runs the whole market Look at this crazy wick earlier today. Okay, this red one right here. Okay, shot the whole way down to 28,457. Now, <clears throat> if you guys remember, I expected Bitcoin to come back down and retest this bl this blue line down here. Okay, which was this this breakout area right here. Okay, let me show you right into here. Okay, now what it did, it wicked down. And it just topped, it touched the top of this wick right here of this move. So uh, is that good enough? That very well might be because uh, some buyers stepped in and they ate that wick right up. Look at that, okay? Um, when you have a wick like that, you have a lot of buyers wait, that were waiting down here. And they, they sucked that thing right back up, okay? Um, it's right on the verge of turning green again. It's back out on the breakout area. All right, these this line here, watch when I put it on the four hour. Okay, uh, it's it's perfectly on my my uh, my areas. So, and what well, yesterday it ended up doing a fake out, which <laughs> so it doesn't it, it, typical. Okay, nothing abnormal. Did the breakout? Came back for the retest. And it ended up falling straight through there. Okay, now it's come back up again and it's broke out of that resistance again. Okay, now this retest of this thing should probably only come down, I would imagine, to about right there. All right, this is our first resistance area we're running into right now. It could pull back down the whole way. Well, it is pulling back down as I'm doing this video. Could pull right back down to this line before it bounces out of here, probably on the one hour. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, let me get that off my screen before I forget it and leave it there. Okay, but that's probably what's going to happen. If we got the breakout, it's going to come back and retest that breakout area. And then bounce from here. That's what should happen on a normal breakout. All right. So we'll keep an eye on that and see. Could end up, you know, a couple different spots. This could do this, though. There's another area there. This thing could end up dragging out a little bit, coming back, retesting here and going. We'll have to just see what happens here. But this is the most likely area right up here this first yellow line that it's approaching now all right so the one hour rsi let's see where it's at it's at the top 
the four hours going up eight hour is just turning up and bullish the 12 hour is spinning up you can see it turning up and then daily uh is is right at the bottom down there okay it's it's just ready to turn bullish and head up all right we got the weekly and the monthly are bullish the weekly the weekly is actually flipped it's a 60 and a 62 it actually flipped bearish but you can see if we zoom in on this thing, look how tight that is. All that blue has to do is get one tick up to get bullish again, okay? It's not a big deal. It's close enough that uh, that it's fine. The monthly, still at a 93 and an 87. So Bitcoin is right. Uh, it's right there, man. If we could just get this one break, if this thing could just get moving and get going, it never goes at the pace you want it to. It goes at its own pace. It really does. It's been messing around in here. You know, let's put a, uh, let's see how much of a pullback we've had. That's 618 that I kept talking about. That's why I expected a pullback. Let's see where we're at with the Fibonacci. That's one thing I did not check before this video, okay? From the low to the high. How about that? We are just, there we go. We have, <coughs> excuse me, guys, that's 618. We have just about touched it, okay? I think that's good enough. This thing could start moving from here. So the 618 is the golden pocket. This other blue line was the area I just expected it to come down to and, uh, and retest, okay? That would have been between the 618 and the 702, but uh, we're right, just right on the that uh, 618 so looks like that might be good enough All right let's look at the bone chart and let, then let's get to the price predictions look at these weekly candles aren't right? isn't that beautiful wow one two three four five six six out of the last seven weeks have been green that's that's what you call a strong coin all right now the trend based extension is given a target of a dollar sixty-seven. Will we break through that? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, okay. Dollar uh, sixty-seven on the daily here. Does that line up with any major areas back through here? Uh, yeah, it does. We'll see. But the only time will tell. Let's look at the RSIs and see where we're at. The daily RSI getting right near the top. Okay it isn't it, they're both hundreds okay so it looks like it might have to cool off here a second possibly the 12 is at a 97 and a 90 still bullish the 8 uh 85 84 still bullish the four hour is oh the four hours got lots of room to go up 55 and a 48 the one hour the, the one hour goes up and down all day it's it's still heading up all right the one uh a four hour now if we put a trend line let's see here can we get a trend line on that we could okay first off let's get this off here all right and then let's get a trend line on here and let's get over to the price predictions All right, somewhere, somewhere roughly around there, okay? It should ride this trend up, okay? You see how it broke through it very, very slightly there, but then regained it, came back down, bounced off it, and it's been riding it up. So we're going to keep that there. But that dollar sixty-seven area, dollar sixty-five, dollar sixty-seven, just start, uh, you know, just start watching it there. Um, if you're in any uh, long positions or whatever uh you know look watch your rsis okay you can see this thing is up to a 77 right now okay uh which is good it's it's showing uh what is it over here so far it is still a lower let's make this bigger here so i can show you what i'm talking about we put a line on top of that okay that was this high right here okay you want to see this make a higher high than this because if it ends up rolling over if we get that dollar 67 and it only goes up to there then that's a lower high that's bearish divergence 
which uh, means this run is probably over for, and we'll see an ABC come in before we start a new uh, upward trend. But uh, need to break through that 81.5 here, okay? So we're going to leave that on there, all right? That, that is definitely a big thing that we'll keep an eye on. Uh, that's where you get your divergences from. So, whoops. Oh, jeez. I hate that. If you don't push... Uh, and I apologize, guys. My videos aren't perfect. I, uh, I'm i not perfect. Nobody is, okay? So, um, I'm just saying that because I, I screw up a lot when I'm uh, using my tools sometimes. And I apologize for that. I wish I was better at it. But uh, I've been using them for so many years. You would think I would be, but that... That uh, brush, for some reason, I forget to right click on it. And if you don't, it'll stay on there. So we got a weekly RSI right at the top, still bullish, 96 and a 92. So looking good. Let's get over to these price predictions. All right, bone Shiba swap price predictions. All right, we get down through here right now. The current sentiment is bullish. It's a 96. All right, out of 100, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're up 0.98 percent in the last hour to a dollar 56. The lowest uh, bone can go today is a dollar 44 at support. The highest it can reach today is a dollar 62 at a resistance level. Now if we go down through here, their 30-day prediction. Let's see what their 30-day prediction is. See what their seven day prediction is. They're expecting this thing to go up to what are they saying? A dollar fifty seven. Where we're at now, they're expecting that to be a top. All right, their seven day prediction, they're expecting it to go down to a dollar fifty two. Their thirty day prediction. In thirty days they're expecting it to be at a dollar forty seven. Dollar forty five. Okay, that's only losing 12 cents. That would bring it down uh, right back to this level. Let me unlock that. Dollar 45. That's what they're expecting as a low for this thing in the next 30 days. Okay, I I don't know. You know, if you put this on the daily, if this thing comes up, all right. And then it starts an ABC. That, that I could see that, I guess, because an ABC could end up. You have your run up, then you have your run down, you have your A, you know, then your B leg up, then your C leg down. I guess I could see that. And then start another five waves up. That makes sense to me. All right. And if we go down through here, I apologize, guys. Got horrible allergies. Did my weed eating. Took my Allegra. And uh, it's just starting to kick in, so I apologize. All right. Rank number 94, safety score, 67 out of 100. Uh, All-time high was $15.50. I did not know that. $15.50, not on this chart. The all-time high on here was uh, $2 and roughly $2.40. Okay. Um... Market cap, 358 million, that's still small. 24 hour volume, 12 million. Circulating supply, 229 million. That's not much at all, that's <laughs> that's actually pretty small, okay? Uh, here we go. Price prediction, 2023 to 2031. All right, for 2023, they have a max price of $2.81. 2024, $4.37. 2025, $5.93. 2026, $7.49. 2027, $9.06. 2028, $10.62. 2029, $12.18. 2030, $13.74. 2031, $15.30. Now let me tell you something. If a if next year is the bull run, okay, um, expect this thing, you know, a uh, to do a 10x in a bull run is nothing. All right. I've seen coins do uh, a thousand X in a bull run. Okay. Um, 
Is that going to have Washiba Swap? Absolutely not. This thing ain't going to be $1,500. That would be crazy. All right, but uh, can I see it doing a 10 or 20x in a bull run? Absolutely. You know, could this thing hit 20 bucks or 20 or 30 bucks in a bull run? At, yes, at 100%. Guarantee it. If it did have an all time high of $15.30, let's find out real fast, all right? <clears throat> Just for the heck of it, this will only take a second. Let's find out. All right, and then that, that'll put this to bed because uh, if that's the case, I need to find another chart for this thing. I did this for a subscriber. I looked this up and started looking at the chart, and a uh, few more people enjoyed it, so I kept going with it. But uh, that was the only chart that I found, okay? All right, $1.57, that's what we're at now. All right, if we go down through here, <clears throat> we're going to find the uh, all-time high right over here. Reject them cookies. The all time high was holy cow. Is that true? Forty one dollars and sixty seven cents two years ago. The all time low was a year ago, twenty eight cents. Is it you know, can some people comment in there forty one dollars and sixty seven cents? Is that is that what it really was? Let's look at the all time chart. Okay, this chart is showing uh, $3.30 as an all-time high. And uh, this is from CoinMarketCap. This goes back to uh, November of 2021. $3.26. Uh, okay, this is Bone, Sheba Swap. All right. All-time high, 41 to two years ago in September of 2021. This doesn't go back to, uh, this goes back to September of 2021 right there. Maybe when it first launched, it shot, it opened up up there at that or something, but I don't think it was technically that. I, uh, it might have opened up trading at that and then it, that, it dropped down, but wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, what did I say? 41? $41.67. I don't think that's true. All right, this is showing an all time high, like I said, of uh, $2.40. And Coin Market Cap on their chart shows an all time high of $3.25. So if you could comment that down below, anybody, I would appreciate that so much. But all right, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will talk to you very, very soon. And uh, bones look fine right now. Everything's look great. Have a great night, everybody.